wildfire risk mitigation works. And it's incredibly important. We face pretty challenging environments related to, to risk, especially as it relates to the wildland urban interface and the communities that are living in fire-prone ecosystems. I work with the U.S. Forest Service Rocky Mountain Research Station. We have a lab up in Fort Collins, Colorado, and we interact very closely and advise the nonprofit Wildfire Research Center. A really important aspect of my work is the WIRE team, and WIRE stands for Wildfire Research. So it's the WI from Wildfire and the RE from Research. We come together to work with local wildfire education programs that seek to encourage homeowners to mitigate wildfire risk and prepare for evacuation. And we work with them to collect data to develop evidence-based programs. To my knowledge, it's one of a kind. The West Region Wildfire Council is a nonprofit organization based on the western slope of Colorado. Our mission is really focused around increasing resilience to wildfire within Delta, Gunnison, Hinsdale, Montrose, Uray, and San Miguel counties. So we have a long uh, history working with the wildfire research team and one that's been extremely productive and valuable for our, our organization. Humans are complex and it requires an approach of understanding where people are at, why they have chosen to live in the place they have, and what are those incentives and motivations for taking action and how residents in, in the wildland urban inter interface can be supported to take those kinds of actions. It requires a multidisciplinary approach, which is challenging in and of itself, but it's something that the wildfire research team has really taken on. And really what it comes down to is, is asking residents about their homes, um, about their perceptions of wildfire, and also independently conducting a curbside rapid wildfire risk assessment. They assess every parcel in a community, just a quick look from the road to see what wildfire risk looks like on the parcel with respect to is there vegetation, are there flammable materials near the home, is the structure made out of something that could easily ignite. And then the local partner follows that up with social surveys and they learn more about the people who live on that parcel and how do they see their parcel and how are they making decisions. Working with the Wildfire Research Team has been instrumental in helping us develop a program that is recognized as one of the strongest here in the state and within the nation. Partnerships are our secret sauce. We could never do this work without our partners. The opportunity for us to work closely with partners shapes the questions that we ask so that we ask more relevant questions. It shapes how we do things so that we can do things that are more advantageous to folks on the ground. We have the tremendous value added benefit of being able to work directly with this research team. And there's an interplay there between what the practitioners are seeing on the ground, the challenges that we're facing, and the questions that we have that goes directly back to the research team. Um, and the research team thinks about what are the systematic data collection tools that we can employ to start to tease out some answers or some greater truths about what we're facing. My whole career has really been focused on the belief that including the preferences of the public in programs and policies will lead to programs and policies that better serve the public. So everything I've done in my career has been toward that end. And this work is really the pinnacle. The wildfire research team is a critical leader in this space. And it's really a frontier of where we need to be going in terms of our national approach to the wildfire issue. We really are not going to make really much headway if we aren't bringing our homeowners and our communities along in this journey towards being you know, more resilient and more adapted to living in fire-prone ecosystems.